Greetings, unsettled souls. Go! Sam I.B. begins you doing political commentary here. Don't forget, if you're finding us on Opera News, that's great. Because they just picked the show up, and I have really wanted to push not just the show, but I want to acknowledge the good things that they have done for the show. So if you're finding me on Opera News, that's great. I'm also on Rumble. I'm also on YouTube. I'm trying to get people away from YouTube uh, due to the censorship issues. All right, friends. <clears throat> when I first heard about this, it was sent to me from a listener. And my BS meter went off. And I'll be dead honest with you. I, I didn't believe it. I simply, I, I didn't believe that it was authentic. And I asked if he had any sources to it, fully expecting him to send me to some site that, you know, may or may not be legitimate because I somehow missed this. No. I've got three different sources here for it. One of them is Fox News. So check this out. The Federalist. Watchdog Report, August 5th, 2021, Fauci spent nearly half a million in taxpayer dollars on abusive experiments on dogs. Okay, this is what's alleged. The National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, directed by Dr. Anthony Fauci, spent $424,455 in taxpayer funds, it says, on experiments to infest beagles with parasite-carrying flies even though the procedure had already been extensively tested on other animals. Pause. The skinny puppy fans will know what vivisection is, testing on a living animal. In some instances, you simply have to know what the outcome is going to be before you give it to people. I understand this. Even though the procedure had already been extensively tested on other animals, that negates that argument. White Coat Waste Project is a link to it. The government watchdog group that obtained the documents found that about half of Fauci's $6 billion budget was used for animal experimentation, including the abuse of dog experiment. The funds were directed to the University of Georgia, Research Foundation to conduct the experiment. According to the documents that we just obtained using the Freedom of, In of Information Act, Fauci just spent $424,000 to commission a study in which healthy beagles are given an experimental drug and then intentionally infested with flies that carry a disease-causing parasite that affects humans. White Coast Waste Project wrote. The document further revealed that the experiments were not necessary because scientists had already performed similar tests on various other animals. Experimenters admit this investigational drug has been extensively tested and confirmed in different animal models, such as mice, Mongolian gerbils, and rhesus monkeys. the group said. Once something is done in a rhesus monkey, you don't genuinely need to do it in a dog, because rhesus monkeys are very, very close to people. Our records obtained by the same FOIA request showed dogs vocalized pain during the experiments. Didn't, didn't even give them pain medicine. Didn't, didn't even alleviate their suffering while the experiment went on. The Daily Caller, there's another link, reported the NIAID task control showed 28 beagles were to be allowed to develop infections for three months before being euthanized for blood collection. Almost a month of misery, fly infestation. The dog experiments are set to be completed by January of 2022. However, the task order states that the beagles are to be euthanized 196 days after the start of the study. According, it says, to emails obtained by WCW, the study began on November 12th of 2020, meaning the beagles would have been scheduled to be euthanized in June of 2021. It's not just Wuhan. Justin Goodman, vice president of the White Coat Waste Project, said, Fauci's budget has ballooned to over $6 billion in, tax, to six billion in taxpayer funding annually. And at least half of that which is being wasted on more questionable animal experimentation like these deadly and unnecessary beagle tests. And 
other maximum pain experiments. Maximum pain experiments. Fauci needs to be held accountable for the staggering waste and abuse overseas <clears throat> and right here at home. Another source for this, because I just could not wrap my head around this happening. Um, this is from fee.org. Every day as I write from my office, my sweet elderly beagle Reggie sits next to me, uh, the writer writes. According to a, next, a new expose from the anti-animal experimentation ad advocacy group, the White Coast Waste Project, the National Institutes of Health spent $424,000 on, and again, I'm not going to read the entire thing, but there it is. It's, it says, uh, it was a cruel experiment. Many of the dogs vocalized pain. Yeah, well, here's some pictures of them, friends. Look at that. Here's the pictures. It was more than 1,000 beagles, 1,100 beagles, hounds, and mixed breed dogs, even puppies, were subjected to experiments in government laboratories operated by the Department of Veterans Affairs, Department of Defense, the Food and Drug Administration, and the CDC. Hundreds of dogs were subjected to experiments involving significant pain and distress. NIH has spent $5.95 million since 2011 to give dogs heart attacks. Other recent experiments include exposing dogs to anthrax, repeatedly forcing dogs to vomit, and drilling into dogs' skulls and damaging their brains. Still don't believe it? Here you go. Well, in addition to funding bat coronavirus research at the Wuhan Institute of Virology, we're now learning that Anthony Fauci conducted research on other animals too, dogs. Not just to study them, but to kill them. According to documents obtained by the White Coat Waste Project, last year the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, that's the place that Fauci runs and has for many years, paid 400 grand a year to run it, gave money to the University of Georgia to infect 28 beagles with parasites. They allowed the dogs to develop infections for months, and then they killed them. Kathy Guillermo is a senior VP at PETA, and we are happy to have her on tonight. Kathy, thanks so much for coming My pleasure. On. What's, you know, hurting dogs under any circumstances, I think, is deeply upsetting to most normal people, certainly to me. You could probably make a case, you know, if they're going to save your child's life, okay. It doesn't sound like this research was essential, was it? It wasn't essential. The most we'll probably see out of it is a published paper that will get a little status for the experimenter. But this is unfortunately the case with all experiments on animals. And this is why Pete is saying that the leadership at NIH, uh, Fauci and his boss, NIH Director Francis Collins, have to go. They continue to back this failed paradigm of... Now and again, I'm going to let you go to the rest of that because I don't want to take everything off of this rumble page from Denise D'Souza. But you can see the rest of it there. And again, Peter, Peter are made up of mad, crazy people. But that doesn't mean that mad, crazy people are never correct. That in and of itself is a correct view. Fauci did this to the dogs unless there is some serious, serious mistake in reporting, mistakes in reporting going on here. And you want to know why I don't think that's the case? Where is Fauci out saying that it didn't happen? That's all that you need to know.